Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be doing an overview of how to set up the in-game overlay for those of you that want to see things while playing a game like your CPU utilization, the CPU temperature, CPU frequency, the power consumption, and the same thing for the GPU. Basically, I've been getting a lot of comments and requests recently on a lot of my live stream videos. So this is going to be a tutorial for those of you that are interested in setting that up. So I use an application called MSI Afterburner. It's been out for a number of years now. You may have heard of it. People tend to use it in the overclocking community to overclock their graphics cards. But you can also use it not just for overclocking, but just simply display and overlay while you're gaming or benchmarking. So you want to Google MSI Afterburner. Uh, I will have a link to the official page in the description of this video down below. But you Google MSI Afterburner. It's going to be the MSI website, and it's going to look like this. And you're going to want to download the latest version. In this case, at the time of filming, the latest one is from February of 2025. The beta release is what I recommend because if you have, for example, a 9800X3D, the Zen 5 CPUs, they are supported in the beta version. They're not supported in the version from 2023 because they did not exist back in 2023. So that is what you would download. You're going to install that. What this is going to install, it's going to install two applications. One of them is going to be MSI Afterburner, which looks like this. The other one is going to be an application called Riva Tuner Statistics Server. And this is the application that is responsible for the actual overlay. So the thing that actually displays on over the application that shows you your info, that's going to be Riva Tuner. But MSI Afterburner is the application that actually reads and pulls the system for info like the power consumption, the temperatures, the frequency of the processor, those sort of things, the utilization. Those metrics come from MSI Afterburner or it reports those and then it leverages Rivatuner Statistics Server to display those on the screen. So it's going to require use of both of these. When you launch Afterburner, it automatically launches Rivatuner in the background, so you don't have to manually launch Rivatuner. And then once you're in the MSI dashboard here, you're going to click on the gear icon on the lower left. That's the settings button. You click on that, and that brings up the MSI Afterburner properties. And then you're going to want to go to monitoring, the monitoring tab. That is where all the magic happens for the overlay. So in here... We're going to select whatever you want to display on the overlay. You check those on the left. So for example, if I want to show the first CPU core, I will check that. And then it will automatically default to show in on-screen display. And if you want to override the name, so the default name is just going to be like this, CPU. But if you want to override the group name, for example, Ryzen 9 9950X, that's the CPU that I'm using. We'll do that, and now it puts the label like that. Otherwise, it'll just say CPU instead of the actual CPU name. So in this case, we're using a Ryzen 9 9950X and a Radeon RX 7900 XTX. So that's why we're listing them like this. And then you can change the name of other things, like if you want Core 1 to be Core 1, and you want to display that one, for instance, you can do either a text display or a graph display or both. So if we do both and we override, let's not override the name, but let's just do that. We apply that. So now you can see up here we have CPU 1. It looks like it's using about 48% utilization. And then we also now have a graph right here which is going to start trickling down all this historical graph data here so that is if you wanted to show a graph you can do that for all of them or whatever which ones you want you can do this with a power consumption for example so let's go ahead and remove that one but that's pretty much it you're going to want to label your cpu if you want to actually show the name of the cpu same thing with the gpu so in this case we have a radeon graphics card so we're going to name that as the appropriate name. Otherwise, it'll just show up as GPU. And that's pretty much it for the Afterburner part. So in terms of Afterburner, that's how you get the parameters that you want. But let's say you want it to be, you want the overlay to be a specific size. So that is where you leverage Rivatuner statistics. So here you'll notice it has this uh, number here with a window, on-screen display zoom, so we can make this larger, for example, by dragging it out. We can make it smaller 
if it's too large we can make it small if we don't want it to cover up so much of the screen if you want to move it from the top left corner you can double click on this window here it'll bring up another window and then here you can kind of like drag the number around which is the reference of where it is so now I've kind of moved it to the bottom of the screen here so the window is resizable but it is technically it matches the size of the the game viewport so if the game is in a window like this in this case we have a 1080p sized window that's what it would look like but you can reposition it if you want it to be on the right hand side you can line it up that way so that's how you can rearrange where the actual on-screen display appears and that's how you actually resize it using rivet tuner so overall that was a quick showcase of how to use msi afterburner with rivet tuner statistics so you can get a overlay in your game so you can see things like your power consumption your uh frequencies, the temperature, the utilization, that sort of stuff, and the frame rate. So if you guys found this video useful, uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.